And welcome to Retirement U TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Brian Kowantra. He is president and founder of Secure Money Advisors, as well as Neil Major, senior investment advisor. Brian, how are you today? I'm great. Good to see you again. It's good to see you as well. Neil, how are you? I'm great, Cynthia. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much. And I know that both of you are so incredibly busy. Obviously, we've been doing the shows together now for quite a while, and viewers are enjoying the shows. They're calling in, they're booking consultations, they're leaving viewer questions behind. So, Brian, what has life been like in the office for you? Busy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. always very busy. You know, I'm always surprised of how hungry people are for good advice. Yeah. Um, because I just I just don't think they're getting it. Or, or I should say they're getting it, I just don't think they're getting it articulated in a way that is clear and they understand it to where they can make good informed decisions. Mm, okay. Neil, any common questions that you're hearing from people across the board right now? <laughs> well, that's an interesting one because, you know, people are watching and, and tuning into the show. We get into a lot of different topics on the show. So, you know, they're coming in and, and touching on a lot of the things that we spoke about. They're also, you know, listening to the radio show, grabbing information from there. So they're coming in, in they want to know about taxes. They don't want to know, you know, am I positioned the right way? Mm -hmm. Am I on the right track? Am I going to be able to retire? Yeah. Um, you know, inflation's causing them some concern. Mm. So, you know, they're bringing in a lot of good topics that they want to talk about. And we're really trying to maximize the time that we spend with them when they do come in for that complimentary consultation. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the, the other big thing that a lot of people are asking, this is probably the number one thing, is that we're seeing that about 85% of the people retiring, if not higher, are not retiring with pensions. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are coming in there saying, look, I've got this 401k at work, and I want to retire soon. And mm -hmm. the only guaranteed source of income that I'm going to have is going to be Social Security. Yeah. And they want to know how they take that 401k that they've been accumulating for the last 30 years and how to create a pension with it. Mm -hmm. And that's really the key to retirement planning because, you know, so someday the paycheck's going to stop. Sure. But bills, taxes, and all the things you want to do, including that bucket list, yeah. is not going to stop. So how do we create a paycheck from the money that you've spent the last 30, 40 years accumulating. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things we do really well at Secure Money Advisors, just showing people how to build the proper cash flow plan and do it the right way without worrying about running out of money. All right, Brian, thank you so much. Neil, thank you so much. We do have viewer questions today. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna jump right in because people have been so very patient. <laughs> they would love to have their questions addressed. And so I think we have an ample amount of time to do so. Brian, can I start with you? Let's do it. All right, this is a great question. It says, Brian, can you help me understand what kind of preventative steps can people take to reduce healthcare costs? I'm concerned about rising healthcare in the future. Oh my gosh, how about we just stay in shape, eat good, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Drink lots of water. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I think, what was the last statistic? I think if you're, the average healthcare cost right now for, for a couple moving into retirement, over the course of the retirement is gonna be somewhere around $300,000. That amazing? Oh, that's $300,000. I mean, if you've ever had, um, you know, a, uh, known anybody that had a family member uh, that might have had to go to a nursing home, I mean, nursing home expenses are up around $10,000 a month. I mean, can you imagine if all of a sudden you have a health event and you've got to go into a nursing home facility, or even if you just need care at home, mm -hmm. how expensive that could be to take care of. Sure. And the insurance industry has done a terrible job creating a solution for that, because if you look at the ways that we're, we're trying to solve that problem, it's through long-term care insurance, and most people can't qualify for it. And if they do, it's extremely expensive for them to receive. So one of the areas that we go over, and we talk about the five key areas all the time, it's income, taxes, investments, health care, mm -hmm. and legacy planning, part of a good retirement plan is all about mitigating the risk with your health care plan. We have to know that if you can't go the traditional route of solving the problem by purchasing some type of insurance policy to protect from that, that mm -hmm. would pay for care, then we've got to make sure if something happens that you can actually self-insure yourself through the portfolio that you've accumulated over the course of your working years. Mm. And so you, we've got to have a plan either way, 
right? Because yeah, it's most the, the last thing we want to have happen is not have a plan and then something happen. We always sure. want to make bad things happen on paper so we know what the solution looks like. Okay, all right, thank you so much, Brian. Neil, this is a great question as well. I am about 10 years away from retirement. What types of things should I be doing today? Someone advised me that I should be paying off all debt, including my mortgage. 10 years away from retirement, paying off mortgage. Thoughts? Yeah, great question. And I think, you know, something that we offer is the right track financial review, right? Okay. So am I on the right track? You're 10 years away. It's really crunch time. You know, what's interesting to me is a lot of people come into the office and they've accumulated a lot of wealth over a very, very short period of time. And, you know, what they typically will tell me is that, you know, they, they were paying for a lot of expenses with the children, helping the kids get to college, go through college, those expenses. Well, the kids are finally out of, the, out of college those expenses have fallen off. So they really were able to turbo drive their savings. Mm -hmm. So one is, are you on the right track as far as what do you have to do from here on out to make sure that you have enough money saved, that you're in the right position. So if you saw a 2008 scenario play out, that you're not you know, regressing uh, 10, 20 years, right, on your portfolio. And you know, paying down debt is an important piece of that, right? Sure. We wanna go in with needing as little uh, cash flow as possible when we go to retirement. Okay. So paying off that, paying off the mortgage, eliminating the credit cards, things like that are going to be really, really important. Now, you don't always want to pay down debt by having to remove a significant chunk from your retirement accounts because obviously that's going to be a taxable event. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that yes, paying down debt can be appropriate, but it's got to be the right plan for you. Okay, Neil, thank you so much. Brian, this is a great question as well. Brian, why do some annuities seem to have negative stereotypes? I would like to have annuities in my retirement plan, but I'm a little nervous. Yeah, well, a lot of annuities are horrible. Okay. I mean, let's just face it, <laughs> they're terrible. I mean, they're high in fees, they, they're misleading in their sales yeah. brochures. I mean, people think they're gonna do things that they absolutely don't do. I can't tell you how many times we've had people come into the office that have annuities, and 21 years of practicing now, going on 22 years of practicing, I've created what we call the variable annuity escape. And the reason I did was I was tired of seeing people stuck in these annuities that were really high in fees, that, were, were, that had benefits that they didn't understand. And a lot of times what will happen is when we call the insurance companies with people that own these annuities, we've got about a 15 point checklist that we go through with the insurance company. And usually the time I get off the phone, I'll ask wh whoever we're doing that call with, I'll say, had you known all of this prior to signing the paperwork and putting your money into this annuity, would you have done it? And they said, absolutely not. And I think a lot of people are just misled on how these annuities work. I'll hear it all the time. We'll hear it at the educational events. People will say, well, my annuity guarantees me an 8% right. every single year. Yeah. Let me tell you something, folks. If your annuity was guaranteeing you 8% a year, please call 1-888-382-1298, because I want to know, because I want to put my <laughs> money in that product, OK? I promise you, that does not exist. And if someone's telling you it does, you need to run. So, and if you have one, don't panic. Sometimes you can escape them, sometimes you can't because there can be some big charges getting out. But there is, just like with any investment product, you have the cream of the crop, right? Mm -hmm. So in the annuity marketplace, there is a small grouping of annuities that are worth looking at in retirement, but the majority of them out there, you gotta be very careful with. There's a lot of strings attached to it. I always say there's more strings attached to these things than a puppet. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we hear it all the time. You know, you ask folks, what was the main purpose in purchasing the annuity? And, and they have no idea. So often, you know, it was sold to them. They didn't buy it, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that becomes the biggest challenge. And when you go through that checklist, we go through the checklist, you know, they had no idea how significant the fees were. They had no idea that it wasn't, wasn't truly a safe investment option. Now, keep in mind, we actually like annuities. But there's a lot of bad ones out there, and you got to be very, very careful. We had a guy. We had a guy come in the other day, over a million dollars in an annuity. We called the insurance company. He tells us, "I'm not paying any fees in this thing." He says, uh, "You know," I'm, I'm, and I said, "Would you be upset if he found out you were paying fees?" He said, "I would." We called the insurance company. We asked for the fees. Now, there's a number of different fees you got to ask for. Number one is the uh, the, the sub management fees the m and &E charges, which is the mortality expense charges, there's rider fees. When we asked about all of those different fees, it added up to three and a half percent. So on a million dollars, 
He's paying $35,000 a year in fees and did not know it. Oh now, there is there are laws in Congress right now that they're trying to pass to make these annuities more transparent because yeah. could you imagine getting a statement that showed a deduction of 35,000? No. You would call the company right away and question it. Absolutely. But they don't. They hide it. Mm. They hide it and that's why it's called hidden fees. Oh. My gosh. Well, Brian, I know you have a special offer that you and Neil would like to be presenting to the viewers at home today. Let's talk about what that is and open up the phones. Yeah, folks, we want to make sure you're on the right track. And that's what exactly what we do at Secure Money Advisors. We've created the right track retirement system to help you out with that. We have a very specific process that we go through with you. You don't have to worry about what questions to ask. We know how to do this. We've been doing it for a very, very long time. So for the next 10 callers, we're going to give you a complimentary portfolio analysis at no cost. You got to do your part, though. Call 1-888-382-1298 and schedule with us today. Brian, thank you so much, Neil. Thank you so much to the viewers at home. The phone lines are now open. That number to call is 888-382-1298. We know you have a lot of questions about how to retire with confidence, how to retire comfortably, and to make sure that you're on the right path. And if you're not, wouldn't you want to know today? And again, that number to call is 888-382-1298. We have to take a very short commercial break, but don't go anywhere. The minute we return, I have more viewer questions, and yours could be next. Stay tuned. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only. To set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go? And who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. And welcome back to Retirement U TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Brian Kowantra and actually Neil Major, the president and founder of Secure Money Advisor. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> I know. So much it's I was been a to it's say. been a long morning. It it's been a long been. morning. I know. I know. I know. I, it's okay. Yes. It's yeah. Coffee you're doing I, president and founder, <laughs> Secure Money Advisors, and Neil Major. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'm so yeah. excited because yeah. we have so many viewer questions to get through. So I was trying to rush the intro just so we could get back to yeah. this. <laughs> so Brian, let me yeah. go ahead and put this next question towards you. It says, I was advised to roll my 401 1k plan from a previous employer into a traditional IRA, which I did. I haven't made any contributions to it since rolling it over, and it's grown very little. I have a 401k with my new employer. Should I roll my traditional IRA into my new 401k account? Well, I, you know, the answer is I, I don't know because you don't know how the uh, the uh, investments within the 401k portfolio are going to look, and you don't know how the investments within the traditional IRA look. So the first thing you'd want to do is get a portfolio analysis to determine which one would be better to put money into. Now, rolling your traditional IRA into your 401k, that would be up to your plan administrator at your 401k company of whether or not you're going to be able to do that. But typically, why you want to have a self-directed traditional IRA is because you're going to have so many better options to choose from than you would from the limited options that you have within the 401k. Mm -hmm. Now, again, this is not advice towards this specific situation. I'm saying in general, in general, you're going to be better off with the options that are available to you in the open marketplace in that traditional IRA versus rolling money into a 401k that's going to be very limited. But without doing a proper portfolio analysis, 
you would not be able to confidently answer that question. So I would just tell you, keep doing what you're doing. I would have both. I think it's beneficial for somebody to have both. Okay, okay, that yeah. makes sense. So I think the, the true uh, answer would be, well, what specifically was your goals in moving the, to that traditional mm -hmm. IRA? Mm -hmm. okay. Were you trying to decrease your risk or something like that? And maybe you made your 401k the risk portion of your portfolio. And I think oftentimes people forget how quickly those 401ks can grow when you're an active contributor. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I've had I've yeah. had people that have rolled their 401ks over because they left the previous employer, right? They roll it over because they don't have a new job yet, right? So they roll it over to a traditional IRA, and then all of a sudden they get a new job, mm -hmm. and now they're being offered a 401k, and maybe they're going, "Hey, that 401k that I rolled over months ago, should I now put it into?" my 401k. So a lot of times you see that's how people wind up getting a lot of multiple accounts too. They change jobs, right. they wind up having multiple accounts. Yeah. But you know, as far as what Neil's referring to, I mean, the strategy as far as how that money should be allocated, you know, risk versus safety, you know, there could have been a reason for that purpose, but we don't know, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a very kind of general question that was asked there. Sure, sure. That makes yeah. sense. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Neil, this is a great question for you. It says, Neil, can I buy ETFs for my Roth IRA? Great question. Yeah. yeah. So that's certainly one of the options available to somebody uh, within a Roth IRA. I mean, you know, something that I typically see is people are a little bit confused of exactly what a Roth IRA is, right? They think it's an investment choice. It's just an investment designation. So, you know, you're utilizing uh, after-tax money that's growing entirely tax-free. A lot of people don't understand, well, well, what investment am I utilizing? So you still have to pick an investment within the Roth IRA. So in ETFs, they can be an appropriate choice if that's what you want to utilize. And that would all be according to, you know, what plan you're set setting up and establishing for yourself. I know there's a lot of... Um, I feel like rhythm with ETFs in the marketplace today because they're typically uh, a lower expense ratio than a mutual fund. So yeah, it could certainly be appropriate. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you, Neil. This is a great question as well, Brian. It says, my wife has been retired from the workforce for eight years and the two of us have approximately 750,000 in assets and no debt. Our combined social security benefits today would be more than adequate to sustain our current lifestyle. Is there any point in waiting an additional three years to retire at full retirement age if I can comfortably live off of social security benefits now? Yeah. I mean, look, I, I, I'm a believer in collecting Social Security sooner than later, right? I mean, there are s strategies that are out there that are really great for delaying it. But, you know, my question first would be, how's your health? Do you have longevity in your family? Are you going to potentially live a long time? Could it benefit you to get a little extra money? And what would be the difference of the Social Security now versus collecting it at 70 where it would max out? But the majority of people that we deal with collect their, their Social Security sooner than later okay. because they need the income. Yeah. And if they don't collect their Social Security and they're not getting a pension, where are they going to get their income from? They're going to have to withdraw it from somewhere. Sure. So what we find is that for every dollar you get in Social Security, it's a dollar less that you actually have to withdraw from your retirement account. And we'd rather see you keep the majority of your money in your retirement account because we have unexpected things that show up in life, right? So Absolutely. a health event you might need money for. So let Social Security do the heavy lifting. Heck, it's only guaranteed while you're alive. Yeah, yeah, there <laughs> right? you go. There you go. That's true. Because we're hearing that question a lot. Is Social Security going to go away? That's the other question that we get asked quite a bit. Yeah, let, let's hope not. I think we'd have yeah. tanks in the street. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, yeah. I know that you and Neil have a special offer that you would like to present to the viewers at home. Let's talk a little bit about what that is and then reopen the phone lines. Yeah, folks, we're always looking to get you on the right track, and that's why we've developed our Right Track Retirement System, and it's really designed to help you take the uncertainty out of retirement planning. We always focus on five key areas during this complimentary portfolio analysis. We focus on income, investments, taxes, healthcare, and legacy planning. If you call and you're one of the next 10 callers, we're going to do this complimentary. It's not very often you get to sit down with a fiduciary at no additional cost and go through your portfolio. The risk is truly on us. So you got to do your part. Call 1-888-382-1298. Again, that's one 888 382 1298. 
Brian, thank you so much. Neil, thank you so much. To the viewers at home, the phone lines are once again now open. That number to call is 888-382-1298. We know you have a lot of questions about how to retire with confidence, how to retire comfortably. Brian and Neil are offering you the opportunity to come in today for a complimentary portfolio review. We have to take a very short commercial break, but when we come back again, we have more viewer questions and could be yours. Stay tuned. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. And welcome back to Retirement UTV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Brian Kowantra. He is president and founder of Secure Money Advisors, as well as Neil Major, senior investment advisor. And another great show we're having today, obviously talking about so many different topics that the viewers are asking questions about. I love that. So, Neil, you're up next. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. This is a great question. It says, Neil, can you help me understand what exactly is rebalancing a portfolio and is it necessary? Yeah, it's certainly necessary. I mean, you know, typically the people that are coming into our office are wanting to make sure, you know, as they get closer and closer to that retirement date, that they're invested properly, right? So they want to yeah. continue to make adjustments to make sure that if we saw that 2008 scenario, they don't significantly uh, take three steps back. So we want to make sure that the, the, the portfolio is balanced properly, right? And so what we want to take a look at is how much risk are they actually taking? Now there's a, a, a certified financial planning board rule of 100. And basically what that says, you take your age, take 100 minus your age. So if you're 60 years old, you come up with the answer of 40. So 60% of your portfolio should be safer, more conservative, uh, avoiding market risk, just getting reasonable rates of return. And 40% should be more aggressive for long-term growth. Really with that portion of the money, you want to have, want to buy time, right? Mm. So 15 plus years, you're going to use that money. Okay. So yeah, rebalancing is important. Making sure that you're structured properly is very, very important. More important than ever as you get closer and closer to retirement. Mm. Yeah, and you know, I just want to add to rebalancing because you know it's it's a very loosely thrown around term in the industry because mm. there's a, a couple of ways to consider rebalancing. What Neil's talking about is peeling money off that's at risk and protecting it, okay. and we typically do that to generate maybe 10 to 15 years worth of cash flow while you're taking risk with this pot of money over here, which gives you time for it to grow. Um, but the rebalancing aspect of it, I'm not a big fan of if we're talking about the investment strategy itself. So let's say I own five stocks, okay? Well, the idea of rebalancing is if I own five stocks and one of them goes up quite a bit, all right? Mm -hmm. They would say, take the money that you've earned here, okay, in this stock, and equally distribute it amongst the rest of the stocks. That's rebalancing, okay? okay? But... That's a terrible idea because if this stock is going through the roof, why would I want to take this money from this really great stock and rebalance it amongst these other ones that might not be doing that well? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see that, you know, a lot of advisors like to talk about rebalancing like it's some gospel thing that's being done. And some mutual funds and investment uh, portfolio managers will rebalance automatically on a quarterly basis. And I'm just, I just don't see it as being a huge benefit. So again, rebalancing, there's a couple ways to look at rebalancing. Again, the way Neil was referring to, 
risk money versus safe money, and then the actual rebalancing of the stock investments themselves. Okay, all right. Brian, thank you so much. This is a great question as well. Brian, can you help me understand the difference between being secure in retirement and a retirement income gap? What is the difference between the two? Yeah, well, the retirement income gap is a big deal. I mean, if, if when we're building income plans at the office, and this is one of the things we do really well at Secure Money Advisors is actually giving people a real written plan. And I think that's what a lot of people are, are missing. I mean, how many times do we have people that come in and say, listen, the reason we chose you is because you guys are the only one who's truly giving us a real plan. Yeah. They typically say, I've never seen anything like this Never before. seen anything wow. like this. Now, that's amazing to us because we're going, wow, we're just yeah. doing some really basic fundamental stuff here. But typically, when you're looking at an income gap, what they're referring to is we're going to add up. When we look at our cash flow model at the office, we add up each source of income that you have coming in. So let's just say it's Social Security. So I got husband and wife. Their Social Security is you know $40,000 a year between both of them, and they need $60,000 a year. Well, that means we need $20,000, right, from, from somewhere. Typically, that's going to be a withdrawal from probably their 401k plan uh, when they retire. But that's the income gap, and that's the problem. And it, that's the problem that 90% of the people need to solve out there. But it's more than just $20,000 because it's $20,000 potentially over a 25-year retirement. Mm -hmm. So you could be looking at a $1.7 to $1.8 million income gap shortfall. Yeah. That's in a monster of, amount of money, and it's a monumental task that's put in front of us to try to solve. And this is why you have to work with people that focus on the distribution phase mm -hmm. like we do at Secure Money Advisors. That makes perfect sense. Well, Brian, we have about a minute and 40 seconds left in the show this week. I know that you and Neil have a lot of information that you want to give the viewers, but any final tidbits of advice you'd like to leave them with this week? Yeah, I would say get a plan, right? It's very important. It's the, the planning portion of it is, is very important. And I would say you have to go beyond just uh, the investment performance itself. Yeah. Uh, the accumulation phase is just it, that, that, that you're really just talking about investments. But if you really want a retirement plan, it's five key areas. It's income, it's taxes, it's investments, it's health care, and it's legacy planning. So mm -hmm. folks, for the next 10 callers who call in right now, we're actually going to do this for you complimentary, no mm -hmm. cost if you come into the office. So we're gonna bring you through our right track retirement system, which is designed to go through these five key areas, income, taxes, investments, healthcare, and legacy planning. But you've gotta do your part. You've gotta call us and schedule that time to come in. Call 1-888-382-1298 and you can get your complimentary portfolio analysis today. Gentlemen, thank you so much for another amazing show this week. I can't believe how fast the time goes when we're does. together. And I love the viewer questions. Yeah. They've been amazing. Yeah. To the viewers at home, thank you so much for spending time with us again this week. That number to call is 888-382-1298. The viewer questions, please keep those coming. We love hearing from you, and we enjoy giving the answers. Again, the number, 888-382-1298. Be safe, be happy, be blessed. We'll see you next week.